All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, make tempo tracks, and then I'm going to touch up on uh, time signatures real fast. All right, to change your tempo, you want to right-click in this area and then make add a tempo track. You're going to make sure right here you're on tempo track, not fixed. You're going to be on track. And you use the pencil tool to draw where you want your tempo to be. Here, let me make this a little bit bigger. Now, you see I just revealed this jump thing that makes it, um, if you have it set to jump, you have this, and it instantly goes into your tempo change. Now, what I do n normally is I have it on ramp, so, say so like right here, I go to there, and you can see Here, I'll make it more drastic. Yeah. It's slowing down. And that's basically how you do that. That's pretty simple. The one thing is that most people have it like this, so they don't see ramp or jump, and they don't know how to make it uh, ramp. It's just automatically set to jump. Either you go like that till that comes up, or like that. Alright, now time signatures, real simple. You put your uh, timeline bar where you want the time change to be. And you go down over here, and that's uh, current time signature standard 4 4. But say if I want 7 8. So I have four bars of 4 4 because that's where it was, and I set it on measure 5. So you have your four bars of 4-4, four, four, and then it goes into 7-8. And Say I want that for four measures. And then right on here, let's go back to 4-4. Four, four. See, real simple. Um, if you have any questions, I know this was pretty fast, but if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll be glad to answer.